Okay. This is the part two for this part two presents the force equilibrium in three dimensions. We have a problem that three cables are used to support the 40 kg flower pot. So we are having a flower pot whose mass is 40 kg and it's being supported by three cables. We have cable AC, we have AB and we have AD. Determine the forces. We have to determine the force developed in each cable for equilibrium. That is how much the question is about the determination of the forces which are developed in each cable for equilibrium. That is, we have to find out how much is the force developed in the cable AD, how much is developed in AC, how much is developed in the cable AB. This flower pot whose mass is 40 kg will be pulling this point A downwards with a force equal to the weight of this flower pot and the weight of this flower pot is equal to 40 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 9.81 40 kg multiplied by 9.81 new 9.81 and its units will be newton which is equal to 392.4 392.4 Newton. Okay, so this much is the weight of this flower pot with which it's pulling this point A downwards. Therefore, in cable AD, tension will be developed in this direction. We'll call that as FAD. So this is FAD. In the same way, the force developed in AC, let that be equal to FAC. This is the force developed in AC, that is FAC. And we'll also have the force developed in AB. Let's call that as FAB. Okay, let's call this as FAB. This force is FAB. So these are the forces which are developed in each cable. We have to find how much is this FAD, how much is FAC, and how much is FAB. The coordinate system is given to us. This is the x-axis. The unit vector measured in this direction will be treating that as i cap. The unit vector measured along y-axis will be treating that as y cap or j cap. And the unit vector along z-axis will be treating that as j cap. Okay. So now the procedure is, let's find out first of all the coordinates of each and every point, like point A, point B, point C, and point D. Look at point D, the coordinates of point, uh, point D are, it does not have any coordinate along x-axis, it does not have any coordinate along y-axis, it has a coordinate along z-axis and that's equal to 1.5. So its coordinates will be 0, 0 and 1.5 meter. So these are the coordinates of, of point D. As far as the coordinates of point C are concerned, the coordinates of point C are, or first take the coordinates of point A, as far as the coordinates of point A are concerned, its coordinates will be along x-axis, it is 1.5. Along y-axis, it's 2 meter and it's on a plane, therefore it's, it does not have a z com component, z coordinate. So its co coordinates are 1.5 and along uh, y-axis, its component is 2 meter and it does not have any z component. Okay. Okay, so uh, first of all, what we do, let's uh, write down the equation of equilibrium. The equation of equilibrium is summation of all the forces, that is F A, or we write it. The equation of equilibrium is the resultant of all the forces about the point A, let's take equilibrium about point A, should be equal, the summation of all the forces about point A should be equal to zero, which clearly indicates that as far as which indicates that we have this FAD, vector FAD, we have vector FAD plus we have vector FAC, we have FAC as a vector and vector FAB and the last one will be the weight plus 
the weight of the flower pot should be equal to zero. This is the equilibrium condition for us. Therefore, we can simply write, as far as this FAD is concerned, this FAD we will write in terms of the in terms of its magnitude and a unit vector drawn from point A to point D. Therefore, FAD we can write. FAD is a vector. It will be equal to magnitude FAD multiplied by the unit vector drawn from point A to point D. That will be zero minus one point five along i cap. That will be minus one point five i cap. Then there is zero minus two. That is minus two j cap. And the third component is one point five minus zero. That is plus one point five. K cap, whole divided by the magnitude of this vector, okay, and the magnitude of this vector will be equal one point five square to the one point five square plus two square. It's actually uh, minus one point five square, so we have to clear it. Minus 1.5 square plus minus 2 square and plus 1.5 square. Okay, so this represents the unit vector along AD. Okay, then we have plus FAC. So this FAC. Can be written as magnitude FAC and unit vector along x axis, okay, that is i cap, FAC i cap, and FAB can also be written as magnitude FAB, and this FAB is acting along the y cap, so it will be written as j cap. And as far as this W is concerned, this W is acting along minus uh, k cap, so it will be minus. 392.4, 392.4 k cap. Okay, and this entire has to be equal to zero. So let's solve this. Okay, so this can be written as FAD. So as far as the denominator is concerned, it's 1.5 raised to power 2. Then you have to add 4 to it and we have to add uh, 1.5 square and it is equal to 2.91 so this is this can be written as minus this is 1.5 divided by 2.91 so which essentially is equal to this is 1.5 this is 1.5 divided by this much that is 1.5 divided by 2.91 that is 0.515 so this can be written as uh, minus 0.515 and in multiplication of FAD let's bring these I components together and we have this FAC i cap, so we'll write this as plus FAC. We'll put them together. We'll put the i components together. So this is i cap. The second component is uh, j cap, which is minus two divided by this much. That's equal to 0 0.687. This is minus. So it is 0 0.687. This is J cap. We are having here, this is also J cap. So we'll add it up. This is 0 0.687. This is 0 0.687 FAD. It's minus. 
and we are having this FABJ cap. So we'll add it up FAB. So we'll bring them together. We can write this as we can write it like this. This is J cap. Okay. So this minus 0 0.687 plus this represents this component and this component. And the last one is 1.5 divided by this much. So that will be that will be plus 1.5 divided by this much, which is equal to 0 0.515. So it is 0 0.515. FAD 0 0.F1 F515 FAD and we are having 3.924 so this is minus 392.4 392.4 and this entire is along K so we'll write this as K cap okay this is equal to zero so this is a zero vector it means this component is zero this component is zero and this component is zero okay so first of all let's take this component so we'll write therefore therefore we can write 0 0.515 0 0.515 fad 0 0.515 fad minus 392.4 is equal to 0 that is 0 0.515 fad is equal to 392.4 and this is 392.4 newton okay therefore the value of FAD, FAD comes out equal to 392.4, 392.4 divided by 0.515, which is equal to 761.94, which is 761.94 Newton. So this is the value of our FAD. Okay. Now we have obtained the value of FAD. Substituting the value of FAD in this equation, we'll obtain the value of FAC. That is from this now so we have obtained this FAD from this equation so let's now make use of this equation we'll write minus 0 0.515 multiplied by FAD FAD is equal to 761.94 newton 94 newton plus FAC is equal to zero because this component is equal to zero therefore the value of fac therefore fac is equal to 761.94 multiplied by 0 0.515 which is equal to 392.4 that is fac is equal to 392.4 newton okay so this is the value of our fac the last component that we have to obtain is the value of FAB. Therefore, we can substitute the value of FAD in this equation to obtain the value of FAB. That is, as far as this equation is concerned, from this equation, we can obtain this is 0 0.687. This is 0 0.687 multiplied by FAD. As far as FAD is concerned, that's equal to 7. 61.94 newton 761.94 newton and we have plus fab equal to zero plus fab equal to zero therefore from this equation the value of fab is equal to the value of fab will be equal to 761.94 multiplied by 0.687 which is equal to 523.4 Newton. This is 523.4 Newton. But this answer, this is minus, this is sorry, minus. Okay, so this will be, this FAB will be equal to this. So the value of FAB is this much, magnitude of FAB is this much, the magnitude of FAC is this much, the magnitude of FAD is this much. Therefore, we have found this, we have found this, as well as we have found this. This is how we analyze the equilibrium of particles in three dimensions.